on a big one, a really big one, Riley. G'day everyone, it's Rob the Axe Man here and welcome to another episode of Axe Man's Fishing Adventures. I'm back out on Western Port. It's a foggy little morning out here. Got a couple of hours before high tide. So I'm going to hit up the whiting first. See how we go there. If I don't get anything, I might shoot across the Porches Channel and see if I can find a gummy or a snapper. That's today's plan. Let's see how we go. Like much, be a small whiting. Yep, that's the little fella. Nice little fish, we'll just move him up first. Oh, he's 29, so. Just on a little squid strip, that one. The pippies are still defrosting. In the uh, Turidan Channel. Yeah, it's four metres of water. What a temp has dropped significantly from last week. It's uh, about 16.8 degrees at the moment. It was about 19 and a half last week when we were out. Got one on here. Just a little one. Just want to bring him in. Thank you. Boat goes past. Just a little whiting there, nothing huge. So, have a look, corner of the mouth, it's a bait tackle direct whiting snatcher. Nice little fish. Fish one up there. Feels all right actually. Whiting, another one. It's not that big. It's, it's hooked in the side. Match his eye there. He's a bit small. That one. He can go back. See if there might be a snapper or a gummy still around. I've got a California skid, full one there, legs and all, with a dual snelled hook. So I'll throw him out this way. Ah, 
Okay, so we've been out in the water only half an hour, 40 minutes or so. Pulled in three whiting so far, very small, only kept one of them. But what a beautiful day. Have a look at this out here. Absolutely dead flat. Sun's out. Absolute cracker. So I've got um, a few bigger rods. I've had uh, some info that there has been some kingfish up here in the Turidan Channel. And I have seen a couple of marks at about two, two and a half metres, some big fish cruising on through. So I've thrown a rod down with a California squid on, um, halfway down, not on the bottom. I've got another one with a squid head on the bottom and I'm fishing two other rods for whiting over here at the moment. So I've got my spread of four rods, cracking day. It's been beautiful already. So let's see how we go. Alright, so slack tide's actually coming a little bit earlier than predicted, so I'm going to take off over to Borchers Channel now on slack tide, get over there and set up and burly up and uh, fish that run out tide for an hour or so and see if we can find a gummy or a snapper. So over in Borchers Channel now, about six, six metres of water or so. Just got that California squid on this one. Did have a full squid head on this. But at that last spot, all the legs got nibbled off it. It's probably flathead. So that bait's useless. Comes the burly. Just go with a single squid ring, just pin it at the top, just like that. Come on, Mr. Fishy. Come on, Mr. Fishy. Come on, Mr. Fishy. Hey brother. Hey anyway, Brad, you good mate? <laughs> just, yeah, just started to get some nibbles just then. Yeah. On the two whiting rods, just got nibbles, lost the bait. Tide hasn't started moving yet, so cracking day. Ripper. Yeah, wherever you like, mate. Yeah. The rods are going that way. <laughs> I lost it. Felt more like a flatty than a. Oh, it's a little flatty.
What have we got? A little gummy or something. School shark. Yeah. School shark. Yeah, that little fella. Hey? <laughs> it's got teeth. It's on my whiting rig. <laughs> You can eat these things. Yeah. He's got little teeth in there. Nice little ripper. Go back in. See ya. One. Yep. You knew there was something under those fish. I think it'll be one of those little barracudas. No, it looks like a salmon. Salmon! Yeah, baby! Chunky fella. He's a nice bait size. 30 centimetres. Like when a plan works. <laughs> Just, uh, on the metal slug. Might be another salmon. Oh, nice one. Oh. Oh, just got off right there. No, it's on. <laughs> oh, you, did you not see the rod, Muppet? Wait till you see the footage, mate. <laughs> it was right there. It was actually a really good one. What have you got here? Flat it. See ya. Okay, so that was it. We've been over in Borchers, got not much here. Just that small school shark. There's the duck over there in his own boat for a change. The <laughs> lawn ornament, it's actually got out on the water. It's a cracking day, so. Anyway, we're going to go down the quail bank and have a bit of a look around there. I know I haven't done too well on the squid there recently, but I've got to start catching them sooner or later, so I'm going to go and have a look.
Okay, so it did no good over there on Quail Bank. Tried everything, tried out three or four metres, five metres, even went into one and a half metres. Couldn't find any squiddies at all. It's a little bit disappointing, because um, I do like a feed and I think I'm getting a bit low in the freezer. Anyway, uh, I've come back over to Eagle Rock now, uh, just seeing if I can find anything. Hoping for a whiting or maybe a gummy or something, so fingers crossed, let's see how we go. I don't think it's a whiting. It is 50 centimetres. Yeah. We got decent trevally. Ripper trevally. Unbelievable trevally. Actually, I've caught up another line there. centimetres on the winding gear. Little circle hooks and the bait tackle direct. What a beauty. This is a good fish. Oh, yeah. What have we got here? Oh, he's tangled around that other line there. Oh, yeah, he's a ripper. What a cracker! Settled in, fella. Yep, circle hook right in the corner of the mouth. It's the uh, bait tackle direct. Little whiting snatcher. 
that's it there and that's what we've got let's measure him up 50 centimeter 50 centimeter cracking trevally have a look at that one what a beauty he's going in the bucket Got something. Might be another Trevally, maybe. Oh no. Gurnard things. Those are the things you don't want to get spiked by. They are nasty, agonising pain. I'm told. I don't want to find out. If I can get my hook back. See ya. Over here in the Turidan Channel, very, very slow again. It's been one of those days, but the weather's been beautiful, so it hasn't really mattered too much. But slack tide again, and there's nothing going on. And uh, I think I might make one last little move further up the channel and fish that an hour of the run out, run, in, uh, sorry, run out tide, and see if I can catch anything. If not, I'll be heading home. Let's see how we go.
that was a little bit of fun. We had a bit of an emergency there and something went wrong with the motor and the alarm went off. So I've had to come straight back in. I don't even know if I'm going to be able to get out. The tide is very low. That's the end of the ramp there. So anyway, it hasn't been a bad day. Um, decided to not take the risk and come straight back in and get uh, sorted out whatever's wrong with it. So anyway, till next time, stay safe on the water.